get ready, because you about to be an ATL. -E -L -E who is that? Who, who is that? Who is that? That is Polo the Dunn. Super, super producer Polo the Dunn of Atlanta. You know, y'all may know him from all the songs and hits he has created. Polo is is a powerful person in the music industry. You know, he he's the owner of Zone Four, which is under Interscope. He has had several hits under Zone Four. Uh, let me go ahead and touch on uh Polo. You said Polo made a lot of hits. He did. He did. He's also responsible for uh Carrie Hilson. Uh, Polo's responsible for a lot of people. Hold on, let me pull up his Wikipedia for y'all know who he is. I know it's a whole bunch of youngsters in here. Look at this, look at this long list of, of hits uh from Polo to Dunn. He he produced Pimpin' All Over the World, Ludacris and Bobby Valentino, uh, DJ Play a Love Song, Jamie Foxx featuring Twister, Runaway Love, Ludacris featuring Mary J. Blige. Look, he got hits on hits on hits. Glamorous, the glamorous life with Fergie and Ludacris. Look at this. Like, like he got so many hits on his child. I look, uh, Nelly is in there. Nelly featuring Fergie. Jeezy love in this club. Usher and Young Jeezy. Like he got hits on hits on hits. Now a lot of you are like, well, what's this got to do with anything? Why are we looking at Polo Dunn's, you know, resume? Uh, it has to do with a, a little bit of something because Polo Dunn is under fire. Somebody said, okay, Polo the Dunn is under fire. You said Sierra, exactly. Uh, because you know, Trump was in Atlanta. So um Polo the Dunn was spotted front and center, honey, front and center uh at the Trump rally in Atlanta. Now everybody is up in arms, everybody is dragging him all over social media because uh, you know, they don't want you know Polo the Dunn to support Trump at least publicly, you know. I guess I, I'm assuming, and so uh, you know, people have been uh on Twitter, and here's the thing: Donald Trump actually shouted out Polo the Dunn, and I, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know how to feel about this. Um so on Twitter, somebody said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this the love in the club polo the done y'all talk about? Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. Also, Atlanta's top hip-hop producer, polo, you know, where is he? Where is he? The Don. You know, Don King used to call me the Don, right? He used to, he still does, actually. But you didn't get it from Don King, I know that, right? Nice to see you. Great to have you. Great he can't he can't even pronounce the man's name. He said Polau. Polau the Dunn was in the audience. So Polau. <laughs> Polau the Dunn was actually even spotted outside of uh the rally and was asked a question. And he was pretty open about about how he felt. And I want to show y'all because Polo the Dunn ain't backing down. I, you know, it is what it is. But I just want to show y'all what he had to say about being in this audience. Um, I really uh, support people who are willing to figure it out. And sometimes you may get it wrong, right? But you took the chance, and then you you're willing to fix things, or willing to take the the, the knocks on the chin and knocks on the head. Um, but I feel like we're gonna make change. You have to do it a different way. And I feel like. He is in the forefront and the front runner of doing things a different way. Um, we complain so much about the past, right? Why continue on doing things the way we've been doing it? Why go old politics, right? Why, if we talk about systemic, systematic, systemic racism and shit like that, um, well, isn't that the system of old? So it hasn't been working, correct? We all agree on that, right? Okay. So God bless you. <laughs> So everybody's shot. Everybody's shot. Some people are saying they're not shot. But, you know, I just showed you Polo's list of accomplishments. Polo also on his list of accomplishments. You know, they say Polo is like a dang near a billionaire. I don't know quite, you know, how close he is to a billion. But he also he's owned he owns radio stations. And uh, just last year, he bought a radio station in Nashville. Another thing that a lot of people are talking about is Polo usually calls himself the king of white girls. 
you know, he got in trouble. Well, you know, he caught a lot of flack online back in, I think it was like 2007, 2008, where he was like, the king, he said he was the king of white girls. And he was talking about how white women uh, are raised to be submissive to their men and treat their men like kings, while black women uh, feels like being submissive is a curse. And I'm like, wait a minute, Polo. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you come from a black woman? Because, I mean, you look pretty black to me. But, um, you know, so people, you know, set out to counsel him or whatever, but I guess they didn't counsel his bank account. So now he is, you know, speaking out. Now he wants to support Trump. Somebody said Trump don't care about him. I see you. I see you. But in addition, let me let me just continue what I was saying. Like, Polo, it's really interesting because now Polo is also, um, <sighs> since people been dragging him, they really been dragging him. He didn't hit his Instagram. And kind of clap back. So on his Instagram stories, he posted a few pictures. So he posted a picture of himself and he said, uh, from Ben Hill to Capitol Hill. So he ain't ashamed. He said, uh, when your mind is free and your heart is pure, anything is possible. So he feels like this is the ultimate, like standing there with Trump, even though Trump didn't know how to pronounce his name. <sighs> so look. Now at Polo's Playhouse, is you see what he got over there. You see, he don't care if y'all call him the king of white girls. That is what he is, and that is what he's going to be. And, you know, there's that. So, I don't know what to say. Like, he's he still, he is a mess. It is a mess. You disappointed? I'm disappointed, too. Like, you know, clearly, you know, he, look. He's about his money. He's about his money. People have the right to vote for who they want to vote. That is true. But when you are, you know, faced with someone like Donald Trump and this, you know, this is the first, you know, I don't normally talk about politics and I know people feel like, you know, it's the less of two evils. You know, y'all should vote for Biden because Donald Trump is the devil and all that. But when you have a person who is in office who creates so much division, I mean, it is only one choice in my humble opinion opinion and that's to vote for anyone but him so that being said you know it's, it's a mess it's a whole mess now that's all i got to say about polo to doing you said disappointed why i'm just disappointed i'm just disappointed because basically he puts his money before anyone else that's all he's putting his money before anyone else it's not like he doesn't have enough of it but you know it ain't my business he, he he's doing what he wants to do and uh that's it i mean you know a lot of people feel like you got to salute somebody who's willing to stand against you know everything that everybody says is is right so i mean you know shout out for him for standing in his truth i guess